So I got into programming. They said coding is the new literacy and everyone needs to learn Python. But then Copilot started writing a little bit of code. GPT-4 started writing a lot of code. But then yesterday, Devin burst onto the scene, an AI that takes over our tooling to write code in an infinite feedback loop. In today's video, we'll find out if this little <laughs> named Devin is the final death blow for software engineering. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'd like to show you why and how I use NordPass. As a web developer, I switch between multiple browsers all the time. I use Safari for most everyday things, but Chrome DevTools is just superior for coding and debugging. And having a centralized password manager is really helpful because I can log in from anywhere into anything, regardless of what browser or device I'm using. Also, if you're working in a team and need to share passwords, NordPass makes that process secure and seamless, unlike pasting passwords in chat or keeping them in a spreadsheet. NordPass is also an early adopter of passkeys, which is a new standard for passwordless logins. And as a backend developer who has seen all kinds of hand-rolled authentication systems, this makes me really happy. If you're looking for a secure way to authenticate across all devices and collaborate safely, check out NordPass using the link in the description.
by the way, guys, I just want to show you what the fix was. It's all about this line here. The background refers to the image that we are loading for each wallpaper pack as sort of like the preview of that variation. And even though it's just an image and even though it's constrained to this view right here, its actual hitbox was covering the previous item. So every next item was covering the previous one and that's why the arrows didn't work. What? Like, I don't really understand the design of Swift UI, but the, the fix was to actually disable hit testing on the background. And well, that's all I have for now. So if you guys know why this is happening in general, let me know in the comments, but otherwise make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.